Welcome to AmeenAcademy.com. In integration, let us discuss about definite integral powers of sin x and cos x. Example. Here, example, let i n, that is nth integral, equal integral 0 to pi by 2 sin power n x dx or i n equal 0 integral 0 to pi by 2 cos power n x dx. Let us discuss this first. Let us do suppose let i equal integral sin power n x dx without the limits means we are doing indefinite integral first. Here let this is i n which means nth integral of sin power nx that is reduction form of sin power nx let us do first. Here first write i n equal integral sin power n minus 1 x into 1 more sin x. If you multiply both it comes sin power n x. Now we know that by integration by parts integration by parts let first function u equal sin power n minus 1 x and second function v is sin x. Now by integration by parts we know that first function and integral of second minus integral of differential of first and integral of second. By using this formula we will find the i n. Here the first function is sin power n minus 1 x into integral of second integral of second means integral of sin x is uh, minus cos x minus integral of differential of first means sin power n minus 1 x differential is n minus 1 into sin power n minus 2 because we have to reduce the power 1 into by chain rule sin x differentiation is uh, cos x into integral of the second integral of second sin x integration is minus cos x dx we will write in arranged form that is the minus into sin power n minus 1 x into cos x here minus here also minus is there so minus into minus plus and n minus 1 take out of integration and write uh, sin power n minus 2 x into cos x into cos x is cos square x dx further minus sin power n minus 1 x into cos x plus n minus 1 into integral of sin power n minus 2 x by trigonometric identity we can write cos squared x as 1 minus sin squared x dx here minus sin power n minus 1 x into cos x plus n minus 1 multiply inside that is uh, sine power n minus 2 into 1 is sine power n minus 2 x that is uh, minus here sine power n minus 2 x into sine squared x is 
only sine power and next dx now, which is equal minus sine power n minus 1 x into cos x plus n minus 1 will uh, split these things as sine power n minus 2 x minus n minus 1 and integral of sine power n x dx equal minus sine power n minus 1 x into cos x plus n minus 1 into integral of sine power n minus 2 we can keep it as i of n minus 2 means nth integral of n minus 2 then minus n minus 1 already we have integral of sine power nx we let it is i n i n we started with i n here so by folding means we write i n plus n minus 1 i n because we fold i n both one, one side together which is equal minus sine over n minus 1 x into cos x equal plus n minus 1 into i n minus 2. So, here i n take out 1 plus n minus 1 equal minus sine power n minus 1 x into cos x plus n minus 1 into i n minus 2. Here 1 plus n minus 1 equal to n only therefore n into i n equal minus sine n minus 1 x into cos x plus n minus 1 into i n minus 2. Therefore, divide throughout by n, we will get i n equal minus sine n minus 1 x cos x over n plus n minus 1 over n into i n minus 2. This is the reduction formula for i n means uh, sine power n x. Now let us uh, introduce the limits that is suppose uh, i n right now we will uh, change the color here. Now integral of 0 to pi by 2 sine power n x dx means we have i n value is uh, given here. So substitute the integral limit of the integration here first we will substitute substitute pi by 2 here cos pi by 2 becomes 0 the first limit becomes 0 and even the second limit 0 sine 0 is 0 so the first term becomes 0 the second term we will write uh, will give the limits of that one that is i n minus 1 by 2 sorry by n integral of 0 to pi by 2 sine n minus 2 x dx this is the general formula for 0 to pi integration 0 to pi by 2 sine power n x is the zero cut here then n minus 1 over n into integral of 0 to pi by 2 sine power n minus 2 x dx now if n is odd if n is odd odd integer then uh, 
then changing then changing n into n into n minus 2 n minus 4 like that finally it becomes 5 3 1 then we can say i n equal n minus 3 over n minus 2 into i n minus 4 in general will get here here i n represent integral of 0 to pi by 2 sin power n x if means before that we will get it generally i suppose i n minus 2 gives n minus 3 over n minus 2 into i n minus 4 and like i n minus 4 equal n minus 5 over n minus 4 i n minus 6 like it's continuous therefore in general this column wise multiplication after cancelling the factor common factors we can get it i n equal n minus 1 by n into n minus 3 over n minus 2 n minus 5 over n minus 4 like that it continues the multiplication 4 over 5 2 over 3 into i1 if n is even integer then changing n into n minus 2 n minus 4 n minus 6 like that like continuation 4 to 0 will get therefore i n equal n minus 1 by n n minus 3 by n minus 2 and n minus 5 over n minus 4 like that into half into 5 by 2 this is for even integer for sin x this result is same for cos integral of 0 to pi by 2 cos n cos power nx dx so we got the reduction formula of the definite integral of sine power nx and cos power nx so we have done please subscribe our youtube channel